Yo, what's going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video. This time I'm going to be bringing you a comparison lap between one of the fastest esports drivers there is on the platform at the moment and my personal lap that I did for the qualification for the SRO competition. Now, I'm going to be going up against none other than Luke Whitehead who did, I think, the fastest individual time around Catalonia, which was a 41.7 in the Porsche, which is just insane. I'm actually driving the Aston, I know it's not the same car, but I just wanted to give you guys a sort of an insight into, you know, the top level esports drivers just against, you know, a normally like, you know, above average player. And now you'll be able to see where the differences lie, where he finds the time, how he's able to sort of, you know, push the car through certain corners and be right on the edge of grip, the amount of track he uses. And um, yeah, definitely interesting, man. And for all you guys who drive the Porsche out there, probably a pretty insightful video in terms of how you actually have to drive the car to get all the speed out of it. Because me personally, I can jump in a Porsche and I definitely can't get anywhere near that sort of lap time for me personally. But um, anyway, guys, I hope you like the video. Let's get stuck into it. So starting off going down the start finish straight, you can actually see that the Aston is slightly quicker down the straight than the Porsche probably about three or four miles per hour but as we get to the first checkpoint you can see I'm actually slightly ahead of Luke as we go in into turn one and um he manages to pick up the pace through the next couple of corners really carries a lot more speed if you can try and pay attention to the minimum speed um that we're carrying through turn three and you can see that Luke really on the edge of the grip but manages to carry a lot more minimum speed into the corner you can already see now he's ahead of us as we go in just underneath the bridge just before the breaking point for turn four i believe and this is where i really think really makes his lap because he nails pretty much every single corner and manages to get the acceleration down in the porsche obviously the porsche does probably have a slight advantage when it comes to acceleration but he really does nail this section and as we get to the audi bridge as we hit the shadows you can see he's about a car length and a bit in front of me and through the last two corners he gets on the power so fast and through the left and right he was so fast through there man i was like wow when i watched his replay i couldn't believe how fast he took that corner and i thought i did a a decent job but he was absolutely flying again through the fast right hander he uses all the track on the exit and you can kind of see where I don't kind of use as much track. And as we get to the next shadow underneath the little GT sign, he again has extended his lead, probably about two, two and a half car lengths in front. And through the last sector, I already knew this was definitely my weakest sector. Um, for me around Barcelona, I just can't seem to get the time out of the last sector. My first two sectors are not too bad for an Aston, I don't think. Um, but yeah, Luke absolutely kills this last sector. And as we get to the chicane, you can see he's even more in front. He's gained probably another two temps from what he had before. And as we just go towards the line, bro, I'm telling you, that, that lap Luke did was insane. And he actually manages to pull out a crazy, crazy lap time, a 1 minute 41.7, which is just crazy. My lap time was actually a... 42.9 it wasn't the fastest lap i had done i just forgot to record my fastest lap i think my fastest lap was a 42.7 which is deemed as okay but a 41.7 is pretty damn fast man it's insane i haven't seen i don't think i've seen anyone go quicker than that to be honest um but this is a replay of loop's lap um just looking at it and just wanting to go over the way he sort of you know uses all the track on the entry into corners he pretty much hits every single apex perfectly I think that was only once I saw a little bit of oversteer kicking in towards the last sector where he probably dropped maybe a couple of thousandths or whatever, or a couple of hundredths. But other than that, it was pretty much the perfect lap. He even had someone in front of him that can be distracting. But notice how much track he uses on the entry into corners and on the exit. They really do leave none of the track. They really do touch every part of the track to gain as much time as possible. And that's how they get on the power so much earlier than people, you know, going through certain corners where you're a bit nervous about invalidating sometimes you just got to throw it in and if it sticks you might gain a tenth and a tenth and a half if it doesn't you might lose that time but you have to take the risk for these sort of competitions and again through this fast right hand out look how much track he uses on the outside he can't get any further towards the left man really brave but at the end of the day the fastest guys are able to do this without even without even thinking it's just it's just normal whereas me i'll be a little bit hesitant to get on the throttle and just mess the lap up but this way he gets a little bit of oversteer 
as he exits this corner, a little bit oversteer, but he corrects it quickly. Again, uses up all the track on the outside, turns in, hits his marks. And as I said, man, it was a insane last sector, insane lap. Um, yeah, definitely Luke Whitehead in the Porsche round here is an absolute beast, you know. Um, and yeah, hopefully you guys who do drive the Porsche <laughs> can get something out of this and maybe sort of amend your driving styles and try and copy some of the things he did. But anyway, Cryptic TMG, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.